Hey, so have you been trying to get your hands on generative AI and experiment with LLMs from your local machine? Well, today we're going to be talking about the Podman AI Lab, which is an open source extension for Podman Desktop that allows you to easily bring AI into your application development workflow, whether you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux. And I'll show you how to set up and use Podman AI Lab in just a second, but let's briefly talk about why this matters. Well, from being able to run LLMs locally for development and debugging in my inner loop, to not having to worry about cloud billing spiking for using AI models, to learning and testing out real-world use cases for LLMs to adapt into my own applications, to full ownership of your sensitive data when working with AI, there's a lot that you can benefit from with the Podman AI Lab. Plus, having a fully open source solution also helps make AI more accessible and approachable for developers. So let's get Podman AI Lab running on our machine, which is an extension on top of Podman Desktop, the container development tool for those working with containers and Kubernetes. In the same way that containers encapsulate our application and dependencies, we apply this same idea for AI Lab, where the inference server runs in a container to serve the LLM, providing an open AI compatible API for easily integrating AI into your application. Now I've downloaded and set up Podman Desktop here on my Mac, and let's go ahead and download AI Lab. Once it's ready, you'll see AI Lab on the left sidebar. So let's get started from the home page here by looking at the recipes, which are a built-in catalog of sample applications for various use cases. You can automatically clone an example application, start an inference server, and both will be in containers, and also run various compatible trusted models from Hugging Face's open source community. You can easily view the logs from within Podman Desktop itself. Now, from this specific recipe to test and experiment with performance or results, we can try out different curated models, each with information about their legal requirements and release notes. Or you could bring your own model in common formats such as GGUF. Now, let's do some model experimenting with the built in playground environment where you can make adjustments and update the system prompt to fit your specific use case. Now that your model is ready, let's integrate it into a new application. There are easy code snippet examples for all types of languages and frameworks, and you can view information about the endpoint and container logs for this inference server. And there you have it. If you're trying to get into the world of generative AI application development, Podman AI Lab has a wide range of tools and resources that can help you start infusing AI into your applications. Check it out on Podman Desktop by going to podman-desktop.io and be sure to give the project a star on GitHub.